Good afternoon. So it's uh, 1.30, just stopped and had lunch. We're on the, uh, where are we at? What, what trail are we on? Ocean of Lake Trail. Oh yeah, the Ocean of Lake Trail. It's December. Shit, it's almost Christmas. And uh, guess what? It's wet. Not right here though. So this is the first time I've ever hiked this and the first day is wet. <laughs> We've had about five miles of mud slogging and puddle hopping and sandy shoes. So now it's kind of dry. Weather's good, overcast, and uh, all is fun. So we're about a third of the way to the police. Who's on that tree? I just crawled up that tree and ran it to the side. Oh. But it's a fun little hike. So tonight we're planning on camping at uh, the Boy Scout camp next to the power lines and doing about 15 miles tomorrow. Should be a very wet day tomorrow. I'm predicting a way steep hole in the wall. Which has brought our, swim, our, uh, our inflatable pool toys. Imagine that. So, we're coming up to the campsite, or the river. What do you think we're coming to? The river or the campsite? Ugh. Oof. So we've done 11 miles today. This is our last little section, hopefully, before we can find camp. <laughs> 10 of the 11 miles were underwater. And uh, things you need to do the Ocean of Lake Trail in December. A canoe, that is all. You don't need anything else. Just bring a canoe. Power line camp. left the uh, power lines campsite and immediately we're wet again. So we're in a sweat in a cypress strand right now, about shin deep water. It's good last night we had a fire, found some firewood. That was nice. It uh, got cool but not cold. Mosquitoes weren't unbearable. So we're looking forward to a, uh, a 15 mile day. And most of it is going to look like this. Yay, wet socks.
far we've done about eight miles. Again, most underwater, you know, nothing changes. This is still beautiful though. Just gotta watch out for this little sniper, sniper's knots. It's gonna kick your ass. But this has definitely been an interesting trip. By far the wettest. And so far the best weather. You know, still a little hot, but cooled down last night. And uh it's the Ocean Lake Trail. Come out. It'll be fun, they said. It'll be just a little bit wet. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Can't wait to change my socks. You know, for that dry section that's coming up. five-star accommodations over here on Bowman Island. We got logs, we got bricks, palm fronds, and we got two chairs. So we spent the last night at Bowman Island campsite. Never been here before. We basically gave up at mile mile 10 and uh, could not go any farther. This muck and this, this water is too much. Found a nice little pad for a tent, nice fire ring, two chairs, good idea. And then my, camp, my hammock was over there. So now we're exiting. I've got semi-clean shoes and a fresh pair of socks on because these are my old socks last two days they weigh a ton and we're walking out but the bad part about this campsite is you got to walk through the muck through a pond to get back to the trail so my dry socks will be dry for all of uh, 10 minutes
Yep, there goes my dry socks. <laughs> uh, it's like stepping in cold melted fudge. Back to the trail, and we got 13 mile day today. Yesterday we did 10 because yesterday sucked, but today is going to be great. It's going to be nice and dry, <laughs> no mud. Fuck it, there's mud already. Oh god damn it! Whew. Yesterday was a bitch. Probably one of the hardest hikes I've done. Feels like you got ankle weights on. Whether you're in the water or the mud, it's just slow going. We were probably averaging two miles an hour yesterday at the, at the fastest. And generally I average between two and a half and two and three quarter miles an hour. So definitely, definitely threw me off my game. So we had to give up and camp at 10 miles. We get to camp at like 2.30? 2? Two? Yeah, early. But check a look at this out. This is, this is what hiking is like in December, apparently, after record rainfall. <laughs> oh, man. It's like super glue. Ugh. But anyways, I don't think I'll ever hike here in December after record rainfall again. I think I'll wait till January, maybe February. Ooh. Look, we found the trail.
like right there. And I kind of reached out. Monday, but what, how many times? We, how long we been out here? Too long. Fuck. Yeah. Oh man. Three days. Three days. Anyways, we did about 13 and a half miles today, so much, much faster hiking today than yesterday. Um, we got to Loxahatchee Slaw, and we are on the Watchtower. We're thinking about camping somewhere around here because it's almost dark, and we got a beautiful view of sunset, and I don't really want to miss that. So today was pretty good. Tomorrow we got looking at about eight, eight and a half miles, maybe nine miles till River Bend um, and the future order of margaritas and uh, chimichangas or burritos or something delicious. So overall today has been first seven miles were wet and the next seven miles or next six and a half miles were uh, dry and wet, dry and wet, dry and wet. So, did get a chance to dry my shoes out once during lunch and immediately got them wet again. So, good times. And until that, I bid you adieu and good night. Last morning, leaving our lovely elevated hotel and this lovely view of the Loxahatchee Slaw. One of us slept pretty well. The other one, well, let's not talk about the other one. But uh, no, this is pretty cool. I really like this uh, this view, this new tower. So. There's a pretty cool little accommodation that we won't tell anybody about. And we start our hike. We've got eight miles to get through Riverbend to Guacamole, where our destination will give us margaritas and food. Chips, salsa, burritos, tacos. We'll eat it all. <laughs> 